And they just got through announcing the starting lineups for Gonzaga. Something new that they do this year. They dim the lights, get the spotlights, the great music, all of that. Greg Heister, Richard Fox, we are courtside for number 25, Gonzaga, hosting Santa Clara. Time now for tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Gozags Checking only at Numerica Credit Union. Gozags Checking. Details at gozagschecking.com. And we start with the starting lineups for Santa Clara. They look like this. Evan Rockamore, Kevin Foster, very, very dangerous player. Raymond Cowles the third, John MacArthur, and Nee Harrison. The head coach, Kerry Keating, now in his fifth season. 74 wins, 53 losses. Starting league play this year with that loss Thursday night against Portland. He is hungry for a win here tonight. And the starting lineups for Gonzaga look like this. Pangos, Bell, Mike Hart, Elias Harris, and Robert Sacre. Been this way for a while now for head coach Mark Few. Now in his 13th season as the head coach of the Zags. 328 wins, 85 losses, and Gonzaga 2-0 in league play to start the season. And here we go. It'll be Harrison and Sacre tipping it off. 6-8 against 7 feet. The officials getting everybody in line here. Rockamore with it for the Broncos. Angos on Rockamore. Hand off to Foster. Santa Clara is still nowhere near the paint with the ball yet. Foster inside. Tough shot there. Angos to save to Sacre. Gonzaga in business. And our first whistle. You know, when you're playing against a guy like Kevin Foster, Greg, he does so much offensively, constantly ha makes you work on that end of the floor. You need to do the same thing to him on his defensive end. It's important that Gary doesn't just focus exclusively on the defensive end. He needs to make sure he forces Foster to guard him on his defensive end. And Foster picking up that personal foul, his first team's first. Bell ribs one out. And Rockamore, a sophomore on Henderson, Nevada, drives too hard off the glass. Cowles the rebound and threw a line drive off the glass through. Two zips, Santa Clara. My car's going to be his hands full with Cowles. Cowles nearly four rebounds a game. is a nice job for a guard on the offensive glass. And to make sure you know where he's at every time a shot goes up. Harris, his first look is short. Back comes Santa Clara. Here's Cowles to the baseline. 15 on the shot clock. That shot is true by Cowles, the three pointer. 5 nothing Santa Clara. A tough shot. Good contest from Mike Hart, but Cal's a guy who shoots about 40% from three. Because we have a foul. Yeah, foul inside on Nee Harrison. Let's take a look. It's easy drill penetration. Mike's right there. That's a great look. Rather, a great challenge. Cal's just able to step up and knock down the contested shot. Now, on the year, ranks seventh in uh, three-pointers made per game. So he's a guy, it's not just Foster out there on the perimeter. Foster does a nice job, Rockamore, Cowles, there's numerous guys for Santa Clara that can do a lot of damage from three. Santa Clara taking four field goals in this game. They're shooting 43% of their takes are from behind the arc. This is a three-point shooting team. Yeah, they live and die by the three, quite frankly. Over nine a game, that places them eighth in the country. As far as three-pointers attempted per game, uh, you know, per, or rather made per game, they do an excellent job. And if they can get things going early in a game from the three-point line, 
that usually is a recipe for success for them. They're going to be able to stay in games uh, for the whole 40 minutes, but it's when they struggle early that games can get away from them. That foul on Cowell, Santa Clara with a 5-0 lead, but three team fouls. Sacre shot is off, MacArthur the rebound. And this is Cowles with it. Now Foster bangs into Bell, and the block is called on Gary Bell. That's his first team's first. Yeah, but Gary, that's, you know, that's a foul that you can live with. You obviously don't want Gary Bell to get in foul, foul trouble since he's largely going to guard Foster tonight. But you got to be right up into Foster on the catch. He's got range out to 26, 27 feet. Yeah, he's a true shooter. And he can make tough, contested shots. GU and GU's fans have seen that time and time again. Rockamore in deep. Out to Cowles who fires another three and hits another one. Eight nothing Santa Clara. You get a team that relies on the three good looks early. When they, and those go in, you're going to make a long night for yourself. GU right now not doing a good job being there on the catch and contesting Cowles. There's Harris inside off the glass. Missed it again. Gonzaga now 0 for 4 shooting. We welcome all of our viewers who are now watching on SWX. 8 nothing Santa Clara. Greg Heiser, Richard Fox. We are courtside. The Broncos 3 of 5 to open the game. And Gonzaga 0 for 4. Cowles again. This one rimmed out. Cowles has all 8 points for Santa Clara. Angles has it stripped. And picked up by Cowles. He's everywhere. He's a good player. <laughs> Look at Cowles, a junior. Limited role last year. Only averaged about 15 minutes a game. Five points, a couple rebounds. His role has really expanded this year. And he's done a really nice job for them. Averaging a little bit over eight in those four rebounds. But really doing the work from behind the three-point line. And Harris deflecting the ball. Rolls out of bounds. Possession stays with Santa Clara. 14 on the shot clock. But credit Harris for the hustle. Crowd gets involved here first time really tonight on the hustle play. Let's take a look. Ball kind of bouncing around. Nobody able to get a hand on it. And Elias gets on the ground. That, that's part of that extra effort that we've seen from Harris this season for GU. You know, always been an explosive athlete, a guy who can make explosive plays for you and, and get your team going. But it's now those little things, those 50-50 plays, defensive effort that he's really picked up that area of his game. As a result, he's having probably the best year of his career. Rockamore. Over Pangos and hits a tough one. 10 nothing Santa Clara. Gonzaga needs an easy one here to get some rhythm. Harris from the elbow. That shot way off. That one hit. Nope. Tough look. And right now Santa Clara has come back into a 2 3 zone. Really has packed things in. And we like to see your scores be aggressive, but that's early in the clock to pull up that contested jump shot for Harris. A little more patience is what you're looking for offensively. Jordan Achanuke, number five on the floor, along with Brandon Clark, number three. That shot off by Clark. Rebounded by Harris. Here's Pangos. Zachary posting up. But Achanuke in there, fronting him as Bell drives the lane and lays it in. Gonzaga's first point. Cowell. Out of bounds. Off of Santa Clara. Gonzaga basketball when we come back. 15-08 to play first half. Santa Clara lost Thursday night at Portland. But what a difference a couple of days makes and the opponent. They're up by eight on Gonzaga. And welcome back Santa Clara with an early eight point lead on Gonzaga. 15.08 to play first half. Time now for tonight's keys to the game brought to you by the Northern Quest Resort and Casino. Well, first things first, Greg, protect the arc if you're GU. Santa Clara third in the WCC, shooting nearly 38%, knocking down over nine threes per game. Number two, you got to protect the defensive glass. Look at Santa Clara, over 12 offensive rebounds per game, which is second in the WCC. And finally, if you're GU, you need to attack the basket. Santa Clara has a tough time guarding without foul and give up over 24 free throws per game. The $119 gaming package at Northern Quest Resort and Casino in Spokane. Get a great room and $20 match play. Check out this package and other packages at northernquest.com. Restrictions apply. 
And I think it's unfair to call Santa Clara Jekyll and Hyde, but this game of college basketball, Jekyll and Hyde, they lose by 10 points the other night against Portland. They come on the road to play number 12, uh, 25, Gonzaga. They lead it by eight. How are they doing? Well, they're doing a great job. You know, it, it's tough for a coaching staff. It's easy to get up for Gonzaga. They go to Portland. It can be tough to get up for uh, that type of game. And uh, you see it right now. Santa Clara is awfully dialed in, playing really hard, and having a lot of success early. Bell got an open look. Rockamore the rebound. GU now one of seven shooting. Rockamore right to the glass. Missed it. Rebounded by Guy Landry Eddy. Mangos, little stutter step. Harris. Nice play from Pangos. And it takes that drill penetration. Looks like he's going to be in trouble underneath the basket, but somehow finds Harris. Harris now one of four. Finally gets on the board. Now Harris has been really aggressive to start this ball game. Sam Dower on the floor for GU. Tangled up inside. Here's Clark. Threw in a circus attempt there. Left hand off the glass. Back to eight. Harris used the dribble, earned the free throw line. Well, a, uh, Harris has been as active as you'd want him to be against this 2 3 zone, doing a lot of work in that high post, short corner area. Has had a tough time finishing, forcing some shots on his touches, but uh, he's doing what he needs to do as far as getting in the right position and on his catches, looking to be aggressive, draws the foul. You know, this is a guy this year who's done a much better job on the offensive end, with better balance. Knocking down shots from beyond the three-point line, but really doing most of his work around the rim. Gary Bell out of the game. Marquise Carter on the floor now for Gonzaga. As you take a look at Elias Harris, now in his junior season. And aspired Germany. Dower the offensive rebound off the miss. Harris missed them both, but Gonzaga with another opportunity. Dower, big shoulder, left hand jump hook. No. That's pretty when he gets that goal. And that offensive rebound forces Santa Clara to fall into man-to-man. -man. They don't have time to get in that 2-3 zone. That allows Dower to go to work one-on-one. -on -one. And we've seen how tough he's been shooting over 60% the last eight games. When he drops that shoulder and bangs into MacArthur like that to create the space, how close is that to a foul? Yeah, I don't see a foul at all. It's good offensive basketball on the low block. And there you see Foster's jump shot at the other end, 14-6. to six. Looks like Eddie just lost track of Foster. And... Bauer. Foul call on Robert Garrett, number 35, a freshman out of Sacramento. That's team foul number five, the first, actually the second on Garrett. Sam Dower really coming to life lately for Gonzaga. We take a look at his last play here. Oh, this is Actually, Foster, Santa Clara's play. This is Foster right here. Eddie gets lost, and Foster does an excellent job. That baseline release, and you have to understand in your garden, Foster, his teammates are continually looking for him. He's their number one option when a play breaks down or early in offense. Uh, he's always their number one guy, so he's one of those guys you really can't help off of. Help off of. So you have to stay focused and be dialed into him throughout a possession. But Richard is a three-point shooter whose foot was on the line. He backs up another six inches. He's got his team another point. Yeah, as a coach, you hate those that long twos. That drives a coach nuts. You hate those long twos. There's no doubt about it. Foster again. He'll shoot free throws. And this is an area where Foster has gotten better. Early in his career, really it's just a straight shooter from three. Did a, does a nice job of working without the ball. But as his career's progressed now, redshirt junior, so it's his fourth year of college, he's got a lot more take to his game. In other words, he can put the ball on the ground and beat guys with the dribble. And you saw it right there. Do the foul. Just a junior for the Broncos. He's 6'2", 225. Strong. Real strong. And, and I, you, you look at Foster, I think that's a similar body type that you'll see Gary Bell you know, grow into it mm -hmm. as his career progresses. I mean, Gary Bell could easily put 215, 220 on and not lose any visibility athletically. And, you know, Gary Bell probably a better athlete than Foster right now. Stockton on the floor for GU, along with Carter and Eddie. Sacre and Dower. Rob, skip pass. 
Out to Carter. He threw it away. And right now, things. No, no rhythm at all offensively for GU. And you got to credit Santa Clara. That zone has caused GU a lot of problems.